Here we have 6.7 introduction to solving a radical equation. So we have a square root equal of w equal to 3. We already know that square roots, roots and exponents are um, inverses of one another. So they undo each other. So if I have a root, I want to apply the appropriate power to eliminate that root. Now we have to remember that when there's no index written, it's automatically a two index. And so then that tells me I'm going to need a two power to undo the two index. So whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So here, these will undo each other and I will get W by itself. And over here, I'll get three squared, which is nine. Similarly, over here, again, there's no index written, so it's a two. So then I'm gonna apply that exact same power, but do the same thing on both sides. So here, those will undo each other. I will get X, but this is negative eight squared, which means negative eight times itself, another negative eight. But negative eight times negative eight is a positive 64, okay? And so you have to be careful here. You have to check your answers. So when I check my answers for the first one, I'm going to plug back in 9 and see if I get 3 because that was what the equation was. Square root of W equals 3. So is this true is the question, okay? Now if I type square root of 9 in my calculator, I do get 3. So yes, they are equivalent, which means nine is the solution here. However, if we go over here to the other side, um, when I go to try to check that one, I would plug it in. So the square root of 64, is that equal to negative eight? Well, the square root of 64 in my calculator tells me positive eight. And does positive eight equal negative eight? It does not. So in this case, even though I did the math right to solve for X, the answer simply just didn't check out. So in this case, I would have no solution. So be sure whenever you have fractions that you check your fraction answers in the denominator. When you have radicals, you have to check that answer in the entire equation.